so many laughs and jokes behind the scenes. Those of you that's on Facebook Live, man, we're going to bring some of that to you because uh, I got to tell you, man, like, uh, this is a joy to do every weekend. And, man, like, I leave here and I actually have to come down because I'm, like, so high as far as my energy and everything, man. I was talking with, with my co-host, uh, YTS Keith, and uh, one of my friends reminded me that all this year I have not had any cherry sour candy. And that has a tremendous effect on me. You would think I was either high or drunk or something like this. Like, like you sure you ain't doing no edible candy or something like that? What's up? And it's like, that's not what it is, man. You cherry sours, man. So uh, I plan to, if not this weekend, this weekend, you know, might not get to one, but definitely next week, you know, cherry sours in my life. Don't let Brian lie to y'all. He began half for you. Oh, <laughs> stop doing that. No, bro, I, I don't smoke, man. Look, the doctor told me I can't do that. Why? Why you say you gonna do? The doctor said because it wouldn't be good for me. So you know, I want to follow the doctor. I want to be around for a little bit, a little bit longer. I told you what I want for Christmas. For us to sit back and smoke a blunt together. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a blunt with my brother. A blunt with my brother. A blunt. <laughs> Okay, this could be me one day. That's crazy you say that though, because 
you know, with me being an artist, I'll be behind the camera sometimes, but I don't know, like, and her type of being behind the camera, I don't know, I'll probably get nervous. You think you could be behind the camera and really being on a TV show or a movie or something like that? Man, I absolutely do, man. We should have talked about this before, and that's, um, you know, I really feel like that with my stuff and all that stuff, that, man, like, me being an arch type guy, that, man, that would be a, tr- a lot of tremendous fun, man. I think the, the main thing would probably be getting the nerves out, you know, but yeah. I think once you get past getting the nerves out yeah. and the energy and synergy is in a room, I believe that, you know, you could come out with some improv stuff, even some stuff that is absolutely, you have to follow by a T and all that stuff, you know, you can come out with some, some special stuff. So, yeah, man, that's something that honestly, um, when people film the radio show and they bring in different people, they're impressed with the fact that I'm still able to maintain doing the radio show and maintain the visual stuff at the same time. So, like, how do you deal with that, like, the nerves and getting prepared for a role and making sure that you don't mess up on camera? Well, you have to practice your stretch a few times before you get on the camera. They make you audition a few times, off camera and on camera. Uh, just to get the voice out more and stuff like that. Basically going over the different type of uh, pitch in your voice and how many times you've got to say it. and They look for a certain tone in that. So, yeah. So if you could go into uh, your inspiration, when it comes to, we're going to focus on, uh, of course, your acting and mm-hmm. your inspirations when it comes to modeling. Who inspires you on, on both both levels? Mm, I would have to say Zendaya from that, because she could do both, if you want to put it like that. She did a good job with uh, that one show and also the, the video things that she do with certain um, music artists and all the you know, video commercials that she do, stuff like that. No doubt, no doubt. And then I want to talk about, you know, you've been in the, the acting and modeling industry uh, for some time now and everything is, uh, share with people that may want to go into either one of those. Because I actually have a little bro that he wants to go into modeling. Like some tips as to who are the right people maybe or what's the, the proper route to go to be able to excel when it comes to modeling. Well, the modeling, it's all about posing and finding the good photographers with that. Um, all about really networking and who you will find as a photographer and just really knowing yourself and how to pose. So, what's your end goal, like, as far as, like, for example, me, I want to use my music to put me in a better position as far as financially and the people around me. So, like, with you being a model and you doing, being anxious, what is your end goal? Like, what are you trying to get out of this? My end goal is to land a bigger role in a bigger film. For me, being closer to my inspirations, my end goal would be to travel along with my work. Like that, yeah, that would be the, the best thing for me. <laughs> that sounds decent, though. So, like, in your opinion, what's somebody on, like, the actress that, what's somebody that you would want to work with? It don't matter if it's a female or a male. Like, what's somebody you would want to do anything with? It? Like a commercial or a TV show or a movie? Like, who would you want to work with? Either Zendaya or Zoe. She played in a lot of movies but with Marvel. She came out with another... Uh, something on Netflix like called Stars and Scratch, and she just play a lot of roles that I think will be, I think I would like to be around. <laughs> if you watch Netflix, bro, you be coming in with all the new shows and stuff coming up? Bro, I can't say that, honestly, I have. <laughs> <laughs> y'all actually, see, like, I want to be honest with y'all, like, man, like, what we doing so much, sometimes just to sit down and enjoy something like that, it's like, really challenging for me like it's just like i just got too much like honestly going on honestly and so guess who i leaned on to help me out young people like you guys you know what i'm saying i lean on you guys seriously i'm being honest i lean on you guys and when i listen to the different um things that you share about these 
different shows or what shows. When I do get a second or so, you know, every once in a while now, I'm like way behind. You know, sometimes the show be like six seasons in, and I'm just watching episode one of season one. But, you know, it's all too good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I got to do some dance watching and get caught up. You come on, you gotta do some dance watching. I gotta do some dance watching. <laughs> I don't even get time to watch TV either, though. I'll be doing too much ripping and running like as far as the music tips, so it'd be like that, though. No doubt. So, we talked with our girl, man, Lexi Lady, and I want to know, like, I don't know how we got this far. We didn't even talk about how did you settle on Lexi Lady as your name? Well, I came up with that name a while back ago. It was on Facebook, and I was like, well, I started off wanting to be a singer at first just to see where it would go, but I was like, no, I need a stage name. So I asked Facebook, my Facebook friends on there, and they was like, um, you should go with something like Kia Shine. I'm like, there's already artists out there named Kia Shine. So I was like, no. And then somebody said Lexi. So I was like, it's catchy enough for me. I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> nah, this is good. Okay, so let's go on to another, like, another part about your life. So, like, what's some things that you got coming up, like, that we should be looking forward to, like, different shows or different appearances on music videos and stuff like that? Um, like I was saying before, I have a few shows, like Disney Plus, the show called Saturday, is a being featured sometime next year. I don't know the release date for that yet, it has no words for that, but, um, basically a show that was filmed in Markham Skatering, so it's based off skating, that's something to look forward to, I'll be a skater on there, it's kind of fun, then, um, uh, what's it, Force, Power Season 2, I was on there. That's crazy, though. You said she was on power. She said she was on power. I don't even get a chance to watch power like that, though, but when I do watch it, it'll be, it be busting, but that's a good TV show. You watching power? Now, that's one show I did follow from the beginning all the way down. The, the books and all the different ones, like... It's books and all? Yeah, man. You know, they got different books that after the show got done, it focuses on each character. For real? Yeah, so you got a power book, Canaan, you oh, you mean like that? I thought you meant like a real book book, like no. that you could read. That's all I'm no. a book book. Huh? No, 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 no. I'm, yeah. I'm also hosting with my friend at British. Shout out to British. <laughs> we are uh, in the midst of doing our own little podcast show thing, so I'm hosting with her as well. Coming out next year, we're in the midst of doing that. That's what's up. Congratulations on that and everything. So, uh, what are some different things that you're looking forward to discussing on the podcast? Just to see what kind of artists are coming in, what kind of questions I can ask them, what kind of content they're bringing in, just to see what they're, you know, about, where they're coming from and all stuff like that. <laughs> now, I want to build on something because, like, I'm curious as to who are some of the favorite artists that you like to listen to? I'm curious. I want to hear this list. Like, you know, you don't have to necessarily do a five to one, but give me at least five artists that, you know, when they drop music mm -hmm. or even music from the past that they drop that you're like, man, I want to, just want to go back and listen to that. That puts <laughs> me in a good space. Uh, Mulatto. Okay. Aiko, she Herbo. Trizzy. Wow. Nick Mensa. Come on. Mm -hmm. You about to make me comprise? I want to say J. Cone. You're about to make me comprise a list of uh, music to <laughs> play in between the guests. Just stop of that, because them all don't work. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. So, and then I want to go back to your acting, mm -hmm. and, and I know this is hard. I don't want you to fight nobody. I don't want to get you in trouble. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite role to play? Uh, since season two of Coward to Tommy, they had me. Dress with the pregnant woman, so mm -hmm. I was in the in the hospital doing this thing. I got to meet all the characters finally. We're in the hospital playing one role, and there's a lot of a lot of things that's going on in that thing. <laughs> dang, 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 dang. And so I want you to recap, give us more details on what we can check out. You know your work, your previous work, like shout some shows out that you shout out earlier, uh -huh. and then tell us about those characters and. Give us your social media where we can stay all in tune with you. Okay. So, then it's Empire, the Shy, Tower, Saturday. And you can find me on social media at Lexi Lady. Four? Oh, okay.
Okay, okay, so one last question before we wrap it up. So, um, I we was talking before the show started, and you was telling me about how you do fashion shows and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, could you break down like a fashion show and like tell us like how a fashion show works? Because I've never been to one, and I know some people haven't either. So, like, how does it be? Like, how is it being in a fashion show, first of all? Um, usually they do some cast and calls. They show up for the audition. They have a dress code. Usually wear all black and some heels or however comfortable you would show up in a fashion show. So, uh, this is bring your walk. Just chuck out your walk. And, um, how sassy you are when you are walking. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they just go from there to get booked. You have cash for that, and it's really about the show and how their format is. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, man, I'm um, so happy that we got a chance to have you a part of the show. Uh, as Keith was saying, you know, anytime we get a chance to have some diversity on the show and bring somebody outside of being an artist, it's always a lot of fun. And, you know, just all the accomplishments that you have, like, so super proud of you. Uh, keep up the great work, <laughs> like, real talk. And, uh, man, we got to have you down here, honestly. Like, I'm telling this, honestly, to have you down and co-host the whole show with us. And how we interact with the different guests for the show. We got to do that. Okay. And so, okay. and so in, in 2023, that's what we're going to plan is for Lexi Lady to come on in here and do what we call a Lexi Lady uh, guest co host takeover. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm excited. We got more Fusion Radio in a second. Uh, so.